Hello and Namaste everyone and welcome to Sambat Sala. It's me Divash and I'm Bishal. Well, Agi intro mata azar le heri alnu bayo. We are talking about jewelries, but not just any jewelries, but customized jewelry. Yes, and customized jewelry, we will take as a camera guest, uh, Miss Sushma Shakya. She is a designer and also the founder of Treasure the Jewelry Art. And now, we will business to talk about her business. Let's go ahead, talk to her, okay. and get to know more about her business. Okay, let's welcome uh, Miss Sushma Shakya. Namaste, Sushma Ji. Uh, namaste, all good. How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're good too. Thank you. Very good, very good. Susma, are you comfortable on life? Can we call you Susma? Yeah, please. Hi. <laughs> Since we know know her already, you know. And but she, I was talking to Vishal about uh, brush. Uh, uh, Susma, he made a brush. Cook it out. And he was really, really good. And but she, um, I was telling him, "Timi ko tiko design thira detail ma ugarzo bani, okay?" Amro, amro perspective bade. That is, it's already detailed nida, you know, like the lion ko tiyo. Expression right? So, uh, Sushma, can you tell us about uh, Treasure the Jewelry Arts, please? Uh, so, Treasure is a jewelry line I uh, created to um, uh, recreate Himalayan jewelries and uh, improvise on uh, uh, traditional uh, uh, Nevari craftsmanship, basically. And um, uh, so, my jewelry is mostly silver, and I deal with a lot of uh, precious and uh, semi precious stones and uh, a lot of uh, intricate ju- uh, designs like uh-huh. detail like detailing you know and details i mean sorry uh, and um, right now i'm even working with uh, raw minerals uh-huh. so a very minimalistic design just to be able to uh, wear raw min- like uh, minerals in a raw form like stones in a raw form so uh, looking at you the uh, jewelries you wear and the dress up you do, we know that you are very, very artistic one era. And so, how did you get into design at first? Um, I always had a keen eye for fine art, uh-huh. and I've always been fascinated with um, uh, Newari craftsmanship, especially. And um, I am like more than me. My dad is like uh, ten times more passionate than I am, and he's into uh, fine art. And he travels a lot, a lot with work, so he collects like from all over. Yeah. So looking at all those, like I really got into it. And um, from a very early age, like uh, I learned about you know fine arts and uh, minerals and uh, gemstones uh, uh, from my dad. So that really got me going into jewelry, jewelry design. Okay. Susma, so, so uh, can you tell us when did you start uh, this jewelry line? First, I would like to say that Treasure is a, a subsidiary extension of Treasure Art Concern, which is a family-run business for, uh, I am like the third generation, right? Uh, and um, in, uh, I think in eight, 1980s, in late, early 1980s, my dad uh, uh, f- um, uh, established Treasure Art Concern so that he could export uh, artifacts to European market. Mm-hmm. So uh, in one of my uh, travels, through business travels through Treasure Art Concern, I saw a market for uh, traditional 
uh, intricated uh, uh, Nepali jewelry, like Himalayan jewelry as a whole. And that is when I started uh, Treasure uh, as a separate jewelry line for Treasure Art Concern. And I first went, uh, I first started with uh, an exhibition, in, uh, South and South Asian commodity exhibition in Kunming, China in 2008, 2017. Uh -huh. So that's when I actually got into jewelry. And uh, now, like, since then, I have uh, the, since then, I have been to many exhibitions abroad, especially China. And uh, um, uh, my jewelry are basically, like, mostly focused on, uh, focused to fit Chinese market, Chinese and European market. Okay, okay. All right, so uh, having said that, I know it uh, seems like the artistic thing, like, uh, Blood may have one, I'm not like since uh, it's you said it's a third, third generation one, you see, like it's in the blood, yeah. and uh, but apart from that, I'm like, like since you said you are mostly into Chinese and European market, right? Now, only like design uh, needs or fulfill gone, like say, what are your inspirations? What do you what inspires you to design uh, jewelries uh, for them? Like I've said before, like I, I'm, I'm into fine art, uh, my, my love and my passion for fine art. And uh, I get uh, my inspiration from uh, could be anything like even looking at an artifact like I might be inspired to make something uh, wearable out of it. Okay. And even like a raw stones, I can just look at a raw stone and be like, okay, I can make something wearable out of it, you know, just something fun. Yeah. So that's how I have been uh, getting inspired uh, to make like crazy or say uh, even uh, simple designs and my other uh, other inspiration is um, I love Himalayan jewelries mm -hmm. so I do a lot of research and you know special Tibetan jewelries and I have been trying to recreate uh, those uh, jewelries so uh, Abba, I, as as far as I know Sushma I know. Mm -hmm. Usli, she not only designs uh, jewelries, right? she's into cooking as well. Right? Okay. She cooks really, really good food. Uh. And uh, Susmako sushi, eh? uh. Susmako sushi is really, really good. I uh, the food matter, you know, was they do the pot or my design, uh, garne, one it, which she does it really, basically really like good. everything revolves uh, around art when it arts. comes to Sushma. Oh. Right. Thank you, thank okay. you, thank you. Right, any uh, so design ko kura ro, amle gore mai na, like the the, the Himalayan jewelry, the Tibetan uh, jewelry, the design ko kura gore mai, but you mean after designer ro, da kiri to garo unso bani, bano ni man chala, ozi thon garo unso hala. Right, and what about the manpower? Do you train them yourself or do you hire the trained professionals? And how hard is it to uh, find the right person for the right job to be done? Uh, I don't uh, I don't train. Uh, I, I, in fact, hunt for like really good artists. Right. Old or young, it doesn't matter. I look at their work. I first give them a prototype. And uh, looking at the work, I, I kind of like uh, know like what I can, what work can be done. Okay. Like what to do, what uh, don'ts and do's, you know. Okay. So I have multiple artists uh, working for me. So uh, say, for example, I have uh, for a silver jewelry, I have like different artists. And for uh, stone carving, I have different artists. So, you um, know, I'm going to say that artists are going to be so you said that young or old doesn't matter when born boy, So most of the uh, time we can see it in pattern. Pattern, pattern ma This is a design gorra ko the youngsters uh, only uh, Stone carving, the English different different ones are, So unar ko the generation dekhin chale ra agola. Ki Do you hunt for that or what? Yeah, I totally hunt for my artists. My, all my artists are from Patan. My shop is in Patan, in fact, and I I am from Patan, so it's much easier for me. And uh, my plus point is I have come from a, a curio line, like you know, my I told you I'm the third generation, so it's much easier for me to find artists than uh, maybe a normal like a start a startup person could. Right, and uh, artist ko kura you know? Apart from that, uh, to make a design into an art, and you will need materials as well. And uh, mostly, like you said, uh, you use silver and stones or like precious or semi-precious stones or use gorsa bande gadaheri. How do you get your uh, resources from? Are they all like imported or Nepal bata bini kei How does it work? Uh, 
So uh, when it comes to uh, stones, some precious stones, Nepal has like one of the best qualities, like garnet or crystal. Um, but like I mostly work with uh, turquoise and uh, coral or uh, lapis and uh, um, amber. So these I have to import it. So uh, Shushma, you've mentioned that you go to international trades, especially in China and Europe, right? Yeah. So. Uh, so uh, you'll have to take your materials, you have to take your jewelry and all, right? Mm. And you have to yeah. uh, look for hotels and stay there, whatever, right? Flight so, tickets. Oh uh, yeah, flight tickets, you know. Do something go that, Kheri. Is it economical viable? Uh, well, it depends on how you look at it. Uh, like, if you go to one trade fair, you can find you, you have like a direct uh, contact with the, with the buyers, or you might like even like uh, later, you know, even after your trade fair, you might find like a permanent uh, buyer, so you can get orders, right? So yeah, it's true that uh, it's uh, it's not it's not cheap. It's expensive. There's a lot of costs: cargo, flights, hotel, and especially in Chinese market, I have to even hire like. Uh, Salespeople, because I don't speak Chinese. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but if you, you know, like it's it's not certain. It's the risk you have to take. Uh, it there might be a break even. They might not. You might make profit. Uh, you might like just one exhibition could uh, give you a good business. Yeah. Uh, and um, or you might have to go like five five other exhibitions. You know, in like in like uh, a month. So it's just for example it's risk taking. Oh. So it's the risk you have to take, yeah. So, Tita, uh, that is about international uh, market, boy, right? Na? So, coming to uh, Nepal, domestic market, domestic domestic market cost is Uh, domestic ma, I have been like during this lockdown, I have been thinking of uh, launching a line just for the just to meet the domestic market because in Nepal, it's uh, like uh, you know diamonds and gold are more mainstream than uh, what I create. Mm -hmm. So I am thinking of uh, implementing a lot of uh, stones like uh, coral and uh, turquoise, uh, and uh, making a sim like simplistic uh, jewelry for Nepal for Nepalese market. So okay, uh, Abba, you know that I'm lockdown 2.0 pani recently secure, right? And was he? I everyone went through stress, it was hectic thio, you know? Last lockdown six one was like uh, very difficult for everyone. Now. So everything was shut, right? Basically. Yeah. So how did you cope with the lockdown and uh cost did you manage Uh I had a lot of time in hand, so what I did was I went through uh stocks of treasure art and my um and I that got me into recreating like old Nevari jewelries. Uh, you know, finding a right uh, artist to be able to create, recreate those jewelry again, uh, and doing some research on like what kind of jewelry can I come up with for Nepalese market? Because mm. all my exhibitions, like all my trade fair, has been cancelled, so I don't have a choice. Mm. So our, we are almost at the uh, end of the uh, session, right? Uh, so before going, like, uh, do you have any advice to young entrepreneurs like yourself who are? Uh, trying to do business or trying to like looking for something to do uh, from my personal experience I would like to say that uh, we're all different and no one knows us better than ourselves yeah. so you you figure out what you're passionate about give it a go be consistent and when I started this uh, my biggest challenge was uh, being my own boss because there's no one to push you so you have to make a routine and follow that Right. Thank you very much for sharing uh, all your uh, insights on your business and how you work and everything uh, with us, Sushma, today. So before going, right, if any of our viewers are uh, interested in getting uh, like a custom designed uh, mm -hmm. jewelry, like especially silver and uh, like precious stones jewelry, how can they uh, contact you? How can they get in touch with you? Yeah, you can uh, go to my Instagram page. Or you can visit my showroom. I have a showroom in Patan and in Pokhara. Mm. Um, and you can contact me through uh, WeChat as well. Okay. So, uh, you treasure the jewelry art one. It's on Instagram. We'll put the link uh, on the description as well. Uh, so, location is Patan? Uh, it's right opposite to uh, Golden Temple. 
Okay, right opposite to Golden Temple. Anyone who's looking for a good design, a modern design, plus the traditional one, you go meet Sushma. Hey? So, the Insta ko the link say, hamle uh, in the description ma. Yeah. Hey? So people can get in touch with you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you'd like to hear more interesting and inspiring stories, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And also, please do not forget to press the bell icon. And if you'd like to be featured in one of our videos, then type in hashtag Sambhatshala in any of our videos. Good stories. Who's next? You, you decide. decide.